Hello from Refashioned Art, shop.imlauramadden.com. Link is in the bio. All right, guys, I wanted to come and share some updates, share some new work. I actually have a ton of new work. Um, I have been creating a lot. I have been in super create mode, actually. Um, here in my studio, I've been up north <laughs> also um, creating a lot. It's a whole different environment there, a whole different um, surroundings and view of nature and it just influences me in a whole different way. So I have my body of work down here, and then I have my body of work up there. Either way, there's a lot of work happening. And um, honestly, I could not be happier. I'm happiest working. And um, every year I seem to learn more and more about myself. And this year more than ever, I'm finding, yep, still there. I am a workaholic and I am happiest working. I've had some super early mornings, like 3 a.m. mornings. And I, I think my body is just like, get up, get up, get up. You have so much art to make. You have so much to do. And I don't know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing, but ambitious to a fault, I guess you could say. So my website is 90, like we'll say 97% updated. Shop.iamlauraman.com. Most of my new work that you're gonna see listed on my website is under the 3D art, 3D original art. So when you go to shop.iamlauramadden.com, which I will share in my stories once I wrap here, and you go to the navigation bar, click on original art, you're gonna have a drop down. You'll see original art, 3D art, and then I think I have um, collaborations, um, and then I think ceramic tiles. <laughs> I swear I built this website myself, and uh, I can't remember what's on there. But you're gonna click on 3D art, and that's where you're gonna find most of my new work. I literally have eight rows, eight rows of new work that has recently been added. Um, also been doing a bunch of commissions. I, I don't know if it's like Murphy's Law when I have this huge, huge collection of work that's, you know, I'm always creating and it is on my website, it is ready to go, yet I keep getting commissions, um, which I love. Please bring it on. As of this week, actually, I am officially open for commissions again, um, but I would love to move the work that I already had. Like I said, I have a whole body of work here. I have another whole separate body of work up in Northern Arizona um, at my place there. So there's a lot of art. If you need art, uh, you know, everything is abstract, modern, 2D and 3D. I'll share some examples. Actually, oh my gosh, I really just have examples of, yeah, I have some 2D, but mostly 3D that I'm working on right now that I have here to show you. A few of them right here. Um, these are both already spoken for, but I want to share them because I am like chomping at the bit now to create more of these. So if, and these are slightly different styles from what I've, you know, traditionally been doing with my 3D textile designs. Um, but I'd like to create more of these. So I want to show them to you in case they may interest you. So where was I going with that? I don't know. Um, definitely not working on enough sleep today, but that's okay. Um, first thing I want to share this one here, this was a commission for the very fabulous Kimberly K. She's an interior designer here. And so she approached me about doing this piece and she wanted a sculptural piece made specifically with a distressed fabric. She wanted, she requested specifically distressing in the fabric. Now, this was very interesting because I have never ever worked with fabric. Well, I've worked with many distressed distress fabrics, um, but the whole point of me working with these fabrics is to reimagine them into something that is useful and to divert them from going in the landfill by, you know, putting them into my artwork. And in that process, I am making them appear perfect or at least near perfect. And so when Kimberly Kay approached me about doing this piece with distressed fabric, as you can see, there's rips and tears, there's pulls. I thought, wow, this is so out of my range because I'm always trying to make something, you know, to go from trash to perfect, near perfect, or at least to appear so 
on the artwork. So to actually take something that was near perfect, a um, piece of fabric that I had collected, and to then de-stress it, <gasps> I had to really wrap my head around that one. But I gotta tell you, um, labor intensive, super labor intensive. You guys know I love that. I, I came from personal training. Um, I studied kinesiology and physiology at you know college at university and so that is my that was my first professional life so i love anything physical the physical of that um is part of why i'm so obsessed with this work but distressing a fabric labor intensive so thank you kimberly my arms thank you um but I really do like the look. I really do like the look. So this is painted with two different types of paint. I won't go into all of that. Um, but thank you, Kimberly, for um, enlisting me to do this commission for you. I will be doing more of these. I have a ton more of this very fabric I used on this piece. This is 36 inches by 36 inches. I think it's about six inches deep, so like a half a foot deep. So there's a good amount. Um, you know, I'm not even going to bother taking this phone off of the tripod because I always F it up and so I'm not even going to bother with that. But I tell you, this is a very deep, very voluminous piece. Um, but I have a lot of this fabric left. Some of it I've already worked on distressing. It's just such a cool look. So thank you, Kimberly. Cannot wait to see this in your brand new place. And then this one here next that I want to show, 30 inches by 30 inches. This is a very special piece. This was created for uh, Chef Christopher Gross. This is part of the Chef series created in partnership with Chef Christopher Gross using his old chef coats that he has worn at fundraising events around the globe. And so this was created out of a signature Christopher's coat. So let me see if I can even... Um, you know, Instagram, they give me, okay, now it's doing it again. For a long time, Instagram would not let me show a photo in the photo, but it's letting me do it. So I'm going to show you, this is the chef coat that this piece was created from. Super, super fun. Oh my God, is this thing going to work on me? Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> it's not pulling up. Man, this is so annoying. Okay. This is not, oh man, I gotta tell you, this technology, it just like fools with me, I swear. It's so frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna show you, bear with me. I'm gonna find this now, now I'm just determined. Okay, so this piece, <laughs> it is being donated. It is a donation, it is a custom piece. That is going to the American Liver Foundation for the Flavors event, which is happening on May 22nd. Bear with me, I'm looking for this photo. Oh my gosh, finally, here it is. Okay, here it is. This phone, I swear, it's just like trying to ruin me. So this is the coat. As you can see, it has the signature Christopher's um, signature. So that's why I call it a signature Christopher's coat. So this coat was completely deconstructed. I tell you, again, love this because it is so labor intensive. Pulling those seams out, man, these suckers are well made. They really are. So pulling these seams out, that was a whole other thing. And it was deconstructed in order to be reimagined onto this canvas, into this sculptural 3D piece. This is a transformational artwork. Even though this is a static piece, the fabric is not moving. It is secure to the canvas, but still there's so much movement and flow in this piece. I wish I could show you, but I know the lighting is just not ideal. But I might, I will try um, to show you this a little bit more close. Oh, hey, Nancy. Hi, Martin. Oh, hey, how are you guys? Let me know if you have questions. John, what's up? Okay, so a lot of movement, a lot of flow. So here you can see the Christopher's signature, and I'm using my favorite color palette, black and white. You guys know, I mean, I've kept it no secret. I just love black and white. I don't know why. It is my instinct. It just feels timeless. It feels calming, yet it feels bold. I swear, if I were blindfolded, I would still pick black and white. 
I would still pick out black and white as my chosen color palette to work with just about anything on because I love it so much. Again, it's timeless, it's calming, yet it, there's still something about it that is so bold and fashionable. So 30 inches by 30 inches, I believe this is four inches deep. This is going to be donated and actually it's gonna be auctioned off live at the Flavors event. Eee, scary. So hopefully someone in the audience falls in love with it because this is a very special piece. And um, you know, the thing about this that I find is so interesting, just the sculptural nature of it. Again, I wish I could show you more of the detail and just the volume here. The sculptural nature of it, it evokes this kind of like emotional and sensory experience and it invites the viewer, you, the viewer, um, to kind of like examine and go on your own journey of exactly what it is you see. Again, for me, this is my thing. I wish my whole home looked like this, but my husband loves color. So it's, <laughs> we got plenty of color in there. Um, but it is calming. It's timeless, yet at the same time, it feels fashionable, it feels bold. And for me, I love just having that fashion statement on my wall. And considering that this was crafted from a reimagined and deconstructed chef coat, it really does bring that whole thing that I love to do with my art, that fashion for your walls. It brings that idea of fashion for your walls to a whole other level for me. And that's really fun. Okay, so enough about that. If you guys have questions, let me know if you are... Um, would like more details about the Flavors event. Again, it's at the Wrigley Mansion. It starts at 6 p.m. and it is on Wednesday, May 22nd. I will be there and really, really um, excited about it and a little nervous too because this will be auction live. Um, all right, let me know if you want further details on that. I don't know if there are still tickets available. Uh, a few other things. Also from the Chef series, this is the Amuse-Bouche um, sorry, I know the lighting is not awesome in here. It's just not. So this is the Amuse-Bouche collection. Uh, this is the Squid Ink series. So this is 1.5 inches deep. Again, it is wired to hang. This was framed at Frame and Works. I love them. Um, again, 1.5 1, 1 inches deep. So not too much volume, but it's definitely a 3D piece. And again, this was made from a Chef Christopher Gross chef coat. Not the same one as this. I've done a whole bunch of chef coats now and there's still more fabric that I have yet to utilize. So very exciting, more to come. There are actually five in the Amuse-Bouche Squid Ink collection. These are all on my website, shop.iamlauraman.com. I will share that link uh, later today in my stories, but this is under original art, textile art. So Amuse-Bouche Squid Ink, this is eight inches um, by nine inches by 1.5 inches deep. Then also part of the amuse-bouche collection, this is butter. So I did do four that are super saturated color. Again, like you guys know, I just said, I don't do a lot of color. My comfort zone, my comfort zone here. Love, love, love. Way out of my comfort zone, but I can't deny total mood lifter. Love, love, love. So this is, uh, this one is, just about eight inches by nine inches. And this one I think is uh, two inches deep. This was framed by Hall of Frames. It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. It's got this lacquered frame, but again, we've got the volume. Also made from a chef coat, a different chef coat. Chef Christopher Gross, thank you very much for bringing these to me and giving me the idea. This is butter. There is also in this series, actually, I'm going to show you now that I finally figured out how to use this thing again. Good Lord, this, this technology is just killing me. I'm going to show you the others in the series. So voila, here you go. So we got butter, we've got saucy, we've got salty, and we've got sweet. So two of them are eight inches by 10 inches. Two of them are eight inches by nine inches all at the same depth. Very, very cool. These are $600 each. If you want all four, maybe, maybe they'll be less. Okay, I wanna also show you a very, very, another very, very special collaboration. This is with bespoke menswear designer, Mark Pomerantz, using his archival cloth. These are fabrics he uses in his bespoke designs. Amazing, amazing designer, incredible aesthetic and talent. My husband is a client by the way, 
Um, I think he's here actually this week. He is here in Arizona. So if you're in Arizona and you're looking to meet with him, I'll put his link in my stories. So this one, I believe this one is three inches deep. And this is 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches. This was framed by Frame and Works. So these are a little uh, special order for Mark using his archival cloths. Super, super luxe fabrics. This was another one of those. It was hard for me to work with these because I'm painting on the fabrics. It was hard for me to work with these because they're so perfect. They're so perfect, but these are remnant fabrics. You know, they're leftovers from his bespoke designs. So I'm so thrilled that he has handed these remnants over to me to reimagine into these sculptural artworks instead of throwing them in the trash. All fashion, you guys, there's so much waste and that's actually what got me on to doing this. Um, it's 92 million tons, 92 million tons of textile waste goes into landfill or is incinerated every year on the whole planet. That's ridiculous, a huge disgusting amount and drives me nuts. I don't know what the solution is, but it at least makes me feel better to be reimagining what I can from my own waste in 